Tonight, a call for witnesses to come forward and DNA testing after more than 50 Chicago women are strangled and killed. CBS 2 investigator Pam Zekman first raised the red flag about a potential serial killer on the loose. Her explosive report has victims, families and community leaders demanding answers now. And today, the head of Chicago police finally told us exactly what's being done to solve these murders. This isn't something we're going to, you know, sweep under the rug or just put up on the shelf for it to disappear. We, we still investigate these cases. Johnson says he's deeply concerned about these 50 deaths, but... There's just simply nothing there right now that suggests that we have serial killers in the city of Chicago. As we previously disclosed, the head of the Murder Accountability Project, Thomas Hargrove, says research might show otherwise. It is highly unlikely that these 50 women were murdered by 50 separate men. Hargrove says his computer formula highlights a pattern of killings. 50 women strangled and dumped since 2001 that could signal a serial killer. Those are the three uh, killing fields, uh, South Side, Far South Side, and Chicago's West Side. We caught up to Superintendent Johnson at a police cadet ceremony earlier today. These cases, uh, going through these alleys, dumped in garbage cans, set on fire, they're horrible. It, 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 horrific cases, you know, tragic, and nobody deserves to die in that fashion. Gwendolyn Williams is one of the victims. Her sister, Sharon Pritchett, remembers the day she was killed. She was fighting for her life. That's the first thing we all thought to ourselves. Whatever was going on with her, she was not going to go down without a fight. Superintendent Johnson says investigators will take another look at DNA evidence to help find the killer or killers. We're looking at them now to see if we can go back and do some additional testing to see if that will help us uh, bring to the forefront who these individuals are. Superintendent Johnson is also asking anyone with any information regarding the 50 unsolved murders to contact the police. And Robin Erica, we have an interactive map right on our website at cbschicago.com. You can click on the various dots where the bodies were found and get information about who it was and some of the circumstances and when it happened. And that may help to bring people forward. Yeah, okay. Pam, thanks.